Stop the stink. That's the message tonight from many people who live in Olivet concerned about a proposed marijuana cultivation site in their community. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Five on your sides. Ryan Henson is live in Olivet, where a meeting starts in one hour. Ryan? Well, Ann and Mike C, leaders and neighbors both say they put a lot of time and research into this issue. And obviously, the biggest issue is going to be the smell. Now, city leaders say the problem can be mitigated. Neighbors say best to not let this company move into the neighborhood at all. Neil Quarles' father's home may be getting a new neighbor, a medical marijuana cultivation site. They don't want it here. It'll bring about a smell that will basically take over. Neil's parents lived in the home for over five decades. Now he's concerned the value will drop. Olivet City Manager Barbara Sondag says this isn't about bringing problems to people's backyards. It's about getting the most out of industrial sites and bringing jobs and revenue to Olivet. What we're really trying to do is make sure um, we end up with a, a process that you know everybody understands and that we can, uh, can agree to. Sondag says the city can manage leaking odors by utilizing an odor mitigation specialist, a hotline that concerned neighbors can call and by requiring the parent company, Proper Cannabis, to operate under a special use permit. A special use permit can be revoked by the council under a due process, obviously. Sondag says city leaders and neighbors have put a lot of research behind this potential move, even visiting the marijuana company's other cultivation site in Rock Hill. When I got on um, slightly higher ground, that's when I smelled it, up on Rock Hill Road. And it, it was the smell of, of skunk, which we all know what that, what that means. Nina Schatzgeimer Miller with Clean Air Olivet lives a mile away from the now empty warehouse. The main thing that we want is for them to delay voting uh, to permit this. She hopes this ends tonight. And so city leaders say this is about the tonight's discussion will be about finding a common ground about bringing a business into town that works for everyone. Meeting starts at 7. I'm Ryan Henson, Pop on your side.